What is going on, everybody? I am back today to talk about a Shudder original movie, and I feel like I haven't reviewed a Shudder original movie in a little while. I think the last one I reviewed was From Black. There might have been one other one, which is unfortunate because that means Shudder has not put out a lot of real quality movies this year, and I do love Shudder, and despite the fact that their originals aren't always great, they do have a really fantastic catalog, including the wonderful Possession that I'm wearing the shirt of today, that it was so hard to get a copy of for a while. It's one of the best horror movies ever made. But today, I'm going to be talking about their newest original film, and I knew absolutely nothing about this. I just saw the poster on their homepage. And normally when they drop an original, I just watch it regardless. I don't really look anything up about it just to give it a chance. And the movie I'm going to be discussing today is Quicksand. Quicksand is directed by Andres Beltran. A married couple on the brink of divorce becomes trapped in quicksand while hiking through a Colombian rainforest. It's a struggle for survival as they battle the elements of the jungle and must work together in order to escape. So you see a movie called Quicksand, you know it's going to be about people being trapped in quicksand and it's all about how are they going to make this movie suspenseful how are they going to make it entertaining and engaging and this movie fails to do any of that it doesn't make an entertaining or engaging movie it doesn't make a suspenseful movie it's just really bad there's really not a whole lot of positives to say about this movie and I'll get into it a little bit more after I give you a little brief rundown of the film. So we're introduced to this husband and wife couple. The wife is Colombian and the two of them are traveling to Colombia because she hasn't been home in a while. At the beginning it's implied they're married and they have kids. They both work for this medical organization. They're going to this conference together to give speeches and once they get to this hotel room they're in the same room. You can tell there's a little tension between the two of them and you find out that they're going through a separation and their friend who is the one who's working to call them to this convention is unaware of that. They go to dinner together. He learns a little bit more about it. Well through their conversations the husband and this friend want to go on this hiking trip. He wakes up in the morning. The friend can't go because he's doing something else and the wife says well I want to go hiking and so he's like well do you really want to go with me and she's like yeah that's fine well we're told through some exposition that you have to take this really long pathway to go get to this beautiful waterfall that they have but there is a way you can cut through it but the locals say that it's incredibly dangerous and that no one should go there well of course they decide to go the easy route and they get trapped in quicksand and the majority of the runtime of the movie is the husband and wife couple trapped in this quicksand trying to survive and get their way out so you have a very simplistic premise it's about an hour and a half runtime maybe a little shorter an hour and 20 minutes and and when you finally get to that moment that they're trapped in quicksand, you have to find a way to keep the suspense elevated because you're in this situation that you're, unless someone finds you, you're probably going to die. You're trapped under this weight. It's impossible to pull yourself out. It's going to be really hard to pull one another out after you're both trapped. And so you're setting these stakes. And what they try to do at the beginning of the film is give you some background into their lives so that you actually care about these characters. The first problem with this movie is the performances are not very good. And I don't really want to hold that against the actors. I just don't think there's a whole lot to work with in this scenario. They're talking about their kids, they're talking about the issues that they've had together at home, and none of it is very interesting. The film is shot very flat, it's not very interesting to look at, it's color graded very darkly, so it's just relatively bland exposition to get you to this payoff moment. So you're holding out the hope that once they do get trapped in this quicksand, that something interesting is going to happen. Happen. And unfortunately, it is very bland. And the reason for that is the director tries to add in moments of just humor and just dialogue between the two characters where there's no peril going on. And those moments are so flat and uninteresting and there's no like ominous music playing. It's just very quiet. So there's no tension there. There's nothing keeping you engaged. And then they try to add on this other plot of this person who was following them and their friend at the hotel trying to figure out why this person was following them. It's not interesting enough and it's so disjointed 
that it's hard to stay connected to the story and want to care about these people. And because the film does such a horrible job at trying to build up their characters and make you care for them, it really just makes it a painful slog to sit through. And at about the halfway point of the movie, I was just like, can we please wrap this up? I get it. Like, once you're introducing snakes and bug bites, and it's like you're trying to add things in there to give the movie some level of suspense and to try to build it up to something. Thing, but it's just it's it's a whole lot of nothing and the film ends in the most cliche way imaginable they try to do some more experimental shots towards the end of the film with these weird shots of the woman seeing things and and it doesn't really work it's because the film hasn't really given you enough to earn some weird strange ending where that it just falls into the cliche that you would assume it would end as and there's nothing interesting or new or original about this and even as like just a survival film I think about a movie I watched last year called Fall about these two young women who were trapped on this giant tower and despite the fact that that movie wasn't perfect it was really great at building suspense there was little tiny build-ups that gave you that overwhelming anxiety once they were trapped in that situation this movie doesn't have good build-up it doesn't have any sort of interesting elements introduced throughout the runtime of the film to keep you on the edge of your seat to keep you engaged in what's going on and that's unfortunate because I really root for Shudder to put out some really great movies and this one just was not it it's definitely one of the worst movies I've watched this year there's not really much positive I can say about it and I would just skip this one if you have a Shudder subscription so have you seen Quicksand did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was terrible definitely one of the worst movies I've seen on Shudder this year there's really no redeemable qualities to it whatsoever. I would just skip it 100%. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.